Hello everyone, it's Lena here and in this video I'd like to present to you Arturia's Universal Music Making Controller Minilab 3. In this video we'll explain what it is, how it works and why you should make it your go-to controller keyboard for any style. Let's get into it. Minilab 3 is a universal MIDI controller keyboard that gives you intuitive controls, 25 great filling slim keys and a fully integrated all-in-one software package that's ready to get creative right out of the box. Whatever your style, whatever your ability, whatever your setup, Minilab 3 is built to get the job done and make it fun, always. With plug and play, DAW integration, versatile controls, 500 presets from Analog Lab and a bundle of world-class music making software, this is your chance to get truly immersed in your creative process. Before we start, let's play a few sounds to hear Minilab 3 in action. Let's now dive deep and see what it can do. First off, let's do a quick tour of all the front and back panel features. The front panel features a 25 key slim keyboard, which feels great and is perfect for playing keys, bass lines and chord progressions. Next, we have eight colorful pads, which are great for triggering drums or samples. On top of that, Minilab 3 features eight newly designed high-quality encoders to control your favorite virtual instruments or external devices, as well as four faders that will be great for controlling volume, effects, envelope shaping or anything else in your DAW. In the top left corner, you'll see the pitch bend and modulation touch strips. As well as octave or transpose switches. And the shift plus hold buttons for accessing other features, which we'll cover later on. Minilab 3 also features a new high-res OLED display that shows information about your faders, knobs, pads, touch strips and more. And the clickable encoder lets you quickly browse through sounds in Analog Lab and navigate various DAWs. Lastly, the back panel has a USB-C connection for connecting Minilab 3 to your computer, iPad or power source. A control input for connecting a sustain, foot switch or expression pedal, and MIDI output for controlling external devices like desktop synths. What's great about working with Minilab 3 is that once you plug it in and fire up your DAW, it will be instantly linked to all the useful settings and controls, thanks to custom mapping with Ableton Live, Bitwig, Logic, FL Studio and Reason. This means that Minilab 3 can control both your DAW and your sound in Analog Lab with its pads, knobs and faders, so you can tweak settings without even touching your mouse. You can find out more details on the integration between Minilab 3, Analog Lab and Major DAWs in our dedicated tutorial series, which you'll find in our YouTube playlists. Minilab 3 25-note keyboard feels great and guarantees a comfortable playing experience. At any time, you can easily extend its octave range with the octave minus and octave plus switches like this.
You can also transpose the notes of your melodies by semitones if you'd prefer to use different keys. To do so, simply press Shift, plus octave minus and octave plus buttons, like this. The octave plus button will flash white when you've transposed by octaves, blue when you've transposed by semitones, or it will fade between white and blue if you've used both. It is also worth noting that you can easily change the keyboard MIDI channel by pressing Shift and a corresponding key, labeled just above the keyboard. This is useful for controlling multiple virtual instruments or hardware synths at the same time. Another way of using Minilab 3 creatively is to trigger its pads. These 8 velocity and pressure sensitive pads work in two modes. The first mode is for finger drumming and triggering samples. While the second pad mode is a DAW control mode and behaves differently depending on the DAW. In the case of Ableton Live, it triggers clips in the session view like this. More on that in the dedicated tutorial series. Triggering samples with these pads perfectly complements Minilab 3's keyboard workflow. The pad's velocity levels are always visible on the OLED display and can change even if you press and hold the pad. This means you can easily play your melodies first and add drums or samples afterwards, or vice versa. Once your melodies are playing back, you can use Minilab's knobs or faders to tweak your virtual instruments like this. Minilab 3 comes with some playful features, and the arpeggiator is definitely one of them. An arpeggiator turns any note or chord into a repeated sequence that loops like this. To activate this function in Minilab 3, all you have to do is to press Shift plus the R pad. This will engage the arpeggiator as shown on the display. After enabling, simply press whatever notes you want and Minilab 3 will arpeggiate them. This arpeggiator by default is set to trigger notes at a certain speed, direction and time division and has many other options that define its behavior. You can edit all of these options using the ARP menu. Press Shift plus hold the ARP button to open the menu where you'll find an on-off switch and the arpeggiator mode option, which lets you choose the order in which your notes are played. This includes up, down, random, and much more. Let's hear some of them in action. As well as changing the arpeggiator modes, you can adjust their musical time divisions, swing, the length or shortness of the notes with the gate option, and the number of octaves to use. As you can see, each of these controls can be tweaked in real time using the 8 encoders, letting you easily create and customize arpeggiated melodies in seconds. The hold button lets you hold the notes or arpeggio you're currently playing even if you let go of the keys. If you play another note, chord or arpeggio, it will replace the last one.
Another major feature of Minilab 3 is its chord mode. This function allows you to play chords and multiple notes with just one finger, like this. To enter the chord mode, press the Shift plus chord buttons. After this, the display will show that chord mode is on. Now when you again press and hold Shift plus chord, the screen will say Create User Chord. To create your chord, simply play up to 16 notes and Minilab 3 will save them as a chord shape. Once you're done, whenever you press a key, it'll play your newly created chord, like this. To switch chord mode off, just press Shift plus Hold again. Minilab 3 will remember your last chord even after you've turned it off. For more details, make sure you check our dedicated how to use an arpeggiator and chord mode video. As I mentioned earlier, Minilab 3 integrates perfectly with many DAWs, as well as with Analog Lab and all Arturia software instruments. This means that you can control the basic functions of your DAW without touching your mouse or trackpad, making music production easier than ever. By pressing the Shift plus PROG buttons, you can toggle between Arturia, meaning Analog Lab Control Mode, and DAW, meaning a DAW Control Mode. You can find out more about this in our dedicated tutorial series, which you'll find on our website and YouTube channel. Minilab 3 also comes with a great software bundle which allows you to start making music straight out of the box. The list of softwares include Analog Lab Intro, Arturia's Vintage and Modern Sound Library based on the award-winning V Collection and Pigments, Ableton Live Lite, probably the world's most famous creative DAW, Native Instruments The Gentleman Upright Piano, UVI Model D Grand Piano, and finally, subscriptions to Loop Cloud for millions of royalty-free samples and Melodix for learning music theory and production. This package truly contains everything you need to make music and become a better producer. It's worth mentioning that you can configure your Minilab 3 with the MIDI Control Center, an app that you can download when you first register your purchase. Before you get going, you'll also need to update your Minilab 3's firmware, which is also done via MIDI Control Center. Once you're registered, make sure you download the latest version and install it for the best music-making workflow. MIDI Control Center will automatically recognize your Minilab 3 when you connect it. Once connected, you can adjust the settings for the knobs, faders, MIDI, and even the colors of the pads. You'll find all of the advanced settings right here. And that's really it! Hopefully this tutorial showed you how interesting the Minilab 3 is and how exciting it can be to produce your own music with. Don't forget to check out the rest of our Minilab 3 videos for tips and tricks on how to get the most out of it. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon! Wow.